Buen dia. I hope you guys are doing well and I tell you I'm roasting spiritually, emotionally and there goes the camera again. I'm using a, bu a bunch of um, uh, cans to keep my phone up so I can do a recording sitting where I'm sitting. But apparently the contraption that I've converted there <laughs> into a kind of a uh, like a phone old or whatever you want to call it uh, does not seem to work with my plans. But anyway. Tupperware is away, we are sitting here, we are having a conversation. So some of you might have watched the, the video from before, I'm uploading another one after this, uh, about the land we were there today, uh, where the land is for <sighs> Camino Verde, the center of my universe. The soul's agreement in the apple in my eye and all the wonderful things that's attached to it. So we went there, it was lovely, it was beautiful to see uh, the landscape and you know how things change and you know how things are just um, evolving. But it was nice because uh, the last time Susie and one of our guests went to have a look at the land, it's also somebody that's potentially joining our community. Uh, we're still thinking about things, uh, we're mulling things over, doing the math, all these kind of things. So. The last time they were there, they couldn't find the boundary fences. <laughs> so again, it took MacGyver this time to go with. And uh, anyway, it was lovely. I, I love the land. I think the energy is wonderful. It's secluded, but yet not completely isolated, if that makes any sense. We are uh, 10 kilometers away from the town. Uh, the closest little shop that we have is literally a little corner shop it's got nothing in it um, so it's very limited in what we have and what we're going to offer but it's beautiful um, the people are friendly they're nice they're outgoing they're caring and you know they're really out there you know the land is clean there's no rubbish there's no dump sites there's no chemtrails all of these watch the video you will love it and anyway so then we went to Itakarubi and uh, that's the video that was before, it's um, you know the house in progress, a uh, bit of an eyesore for me at the moment, um, uh, not where it was supposed to have been, uh, you know, plus the damages which is uh, heartbreaking, but on the other hand, then I said to myself, I, my whole house didn't conk in, so there's a, there's a positive, there's a, there's a silver lining at this dark cloud, but anyway, so the roof, uh, it's fine. It's basically just the structure damage on the wall, so that needs to be coming down and redone, and you know, more labor, the nair. <laughs> but um, I am hoping and praying to the love, uh, divine spirit of my life, um, to um, guide me so that I can get this done in the next couple of weeks. I know doors need to go in, the electricity needs to go in, and all that. And you know, guys, what I am doing. It. Life. If you want something done, do it yourself. Do it right. There's nobody else to blame. <laughs> so, but even during, you know, dealing with Camino Verde, and I'm not just dealing with the project here and Casa Astral, the guest house, and uh, welcoming people from all over the world to the guest house and introducing Paraguay and Camino Verde and helping them through the immigration. We're not just doing that. You know, I, I deal with community services. When I'm in Itakurubi, I take care of the people less fortunate, less blessed than myself, and see where I can help with my broken Espanol and all. But I'm not here to boast about what I do and you know these kind of things, but it just reminded me again today, no matter your direction, if you join Camino Verde, or whether you wanna go off grid by yourself, you wanna start your own community and things like that, whatever role you are called into, you have to understand leadership comes with a cost. You know, leadership comes where you really put others' needs ahead of yours, above your own. You plan for the future for when you are not there. You try to keep it as pure as possible, keep it a complete democracy, but guided by trust, guided by knowledge and skills, debating, deliberating, not fighting. But you need to have people on your side that you can trust. You know, you need to know that you have people on your back that always got your back. 
and you're gonna look like an asshole sometimes but that's how it has to be you have a role to play you you have a significant role to play going off grid with us i take responsibility of everybody joining plus their families and people that's depending on us to provide them with the income so i'm not just dealing with <clears throat> me myself and i um, i'm dealing with everybody Every family that joins Camino Verde, I have to give them the benefit of the doubt. And without reason to doubt me, you know, I need to provide people the trust that they know I have their back at, at best interest. And we work together as a team and this is the best way of doing things. I do things and I say things not because I want to and because I want to make people feel comfortable inside. I share truth. Immigrating, going off grid is hard fucking work. You need people on your side. The Camino Verde, I need people. I need people that's going to stand with me and, you know, just have my back. If I say no to them in a private meeting, they need to know it's no is in a public meeting. You know what I'm saying? How dare they stab you in the back, Caesar and all his friends. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's not go there. But again, if you know your math is sound, even today, um, the gentleman that we took with us you know for him the math didn't make sense the land should be smaller yeah it could be but it shouldn't the land is more than 8.5 hectares but it's just the way it goes but when you add the land it's much bigger than 8.5 hectares this is Paraguay deal with it but in any way but you need to know your story. You need to know that you've done your math. You've done all your research based on statistics, on logic, on common sense, you know, and you, you make sure you've done it. And I've taken three years and eight months before I moved to Paraguay to start my project. I've done my research. I've done every aspect of this. I designed coming over. I designed the water drainage system hydropower system, the houses, everything I've designed. So I know things, but I design things in a certain way. It's bizarre, it's different, it's unusual, it's inspiring, deal with it. <laughs> but it's designed to keep the houses cooler, use less electricity, no need for air conditionings, which is not good for you. You know, but we are gonna have air conditioning because if it's really hot, I'm not gonna deprive myself of a little alfresco air, you know what I'm saying? So for me, you know, it's, it's frustrating. It is um, stressful because I, I do want to have somebody that's on the team that I can talk to about deep stuff, you know, people that's logic, people that can come out with different perspectives, you know, um, things like that. And to challenge me, you know, I, I like being challenged. It's not like a physical thing. It's not a, a, a domineering, you know, who's the alpha. I'm not that kind of person. You know, I, I like to have debates about things, what we are doing our community rules, regulations, procedures, all these kind of things. I want people I want to trust unconditionally, you know, and I want to, them to trust me unconditionally because even with the project from now on, I've, I've been attacked by people saying, I'm in it for the money, I'm making easy money. I don't make a cent. I don't make a cent. Everything that goes into Camino Verde from day one is transparent everything must be accounted for everything before i even spend money the people that's involved they need to we need to vote are we going to do this are we going to do this this is the expense this is the cost yes we're doing it okay great stuff everybody's agreed upon it this is the, what we're doing this is phase one this is phase two phase three why are we doing it this way because this is phase one for this rainy season come we can deal with phase two but we can't deal with phase one and for phase three we cannot do it after the rainy season because then it's bloody windy you know, so I know a few things. I know why I say things, you know, and and I want somebody to be stronger than me to take over Camino Verde, you know. I, I'm not going to live forever. I want somebody that can take the leadership and continue the purity of the project. It's all above one, you know. You, you It's humanity above all. And us as a community become family. We become extended family we need to know we have each other's backs and we have everybody that comes to us also their back and that we take care of the future that none one of us living in the community will ever be short of anything and we won't 
you know it's just there's a system in place there's things in place there's things that we need to do <coughs> i promise you this is not going to be 20 minutes long i'm going to cut it quite short very soon but so wherever you are make sure that you know your story and make sure you have people that you can trust and stay true to your facts if you know you've done your homework don't give in because of pure pressure stay in your ground look like the asshole be the asshole because one day the asshole is the one that's going to provide for people even myself sometimes i say to people i might act like an asshole i might be like an asshole sometimes with people because i'm very focused integrity honor uh, manners all of these kind of things matter to me <laughs> and if people don't have it and they can't display it oh i get really chirped off about that you know but you have to be an asshole in life to save lives you can't be people's friend and still provide for them because people are going to pull you to their bad habits oh don't get up so early lie in a little bit or do this a little bit or don't don't do that do this you know um, take it easy don't ever settle for that word take it easy this is the time you get your ass in gear guys you need to move I'm telling you, within the next three months, there's going to be a lot of poopins in America and there's going to be a lot of poopins in, in Europe. And if you're going to be stuck there, you're going to be stuck there. Get going. If you're joining Camino Verde, you know, come down, meet with us. You don't have three months to get your life in order. If you come, you need to play, bloody must make bloody, bloody much make sure um, you're about 90% there. The only thing that needs to sell you is the fact that I'm here and that the land is there and we stay true to our word you know that's what is important we can make Camino Verde together we can build Camino Verde together the everything else is irrelevant you know the buildings is quick to do if you have a lot of people you have a lot of help you have a lot of people doing training which we do and you have partners men women strong we can build literally things in months which would astonish the world but for that to happen, you know, you need some people with, with some toughness about them. You know, I, I, I didn't become tough because I choose to. The world made me tough. The world made me stronger so that I can take care of others. That's what it's about. You know, I'm the nicest person. I promise you under the sun. I love having a cold beer, cold wine, laugh, a little herbology. I don't mind that. I enjoy laughter, I enjoy good company, I enjoy intellectual conversations. Like, I'm amazed, there's so many things I've heard uh, over the last couple of days from a friend of mine, uh, Ashley, you know, he's doing some awesome, um, you know, complementary healthcare or alternative healthcare things, which is just rocking my world, so I'm looking into that. So that's things that we want to bring to Camino Verde, because we want to bring something new to people. And people come with new ideas, we bring it in. People come with new concepts, let's develop it. Let's be, take an idea, develop it, and make money as a community. You know, that's how we're gonna survive, working together, sharing profits equally, everybody talking and voting on what we need to do. Life could be easy. But again, don't give up. And if you have to be an asshole for a little bit because you're doing the right thing, then so be it. You're gonna lose friends and family in any way take care of what's important fight for things that you are fighting for and that's yourself your family and others humanity helping those are fragile helping our next generation become absolutely generation X superstars we don't want them to roll out with batons trying to go fight a battle do we no I think we want better children I think we want intellectual children that's absolutely out there to revolutionize the world that's the kids that we want that's what we are fighting for for them their future love light and all those hippie jazz